Hi guys, welcome back to our Seleucid campaign in RIS and look at our glorious empire. It is beautiful, isn't it? It is glorious, should we say. And yes, we have been doing very, very nicely, fought the Antigonids last time and we're close to taking over the Peloponnese. It shouldn't be too much longer. Thank you for all your suggestions by the way. We've had a few interesting suggestions from various people, so thank you for those. One of them was to not have the everywhere on low tax rate, put it up to normal at least for the huge cities. Now, I have gone ahead and done that across the board for all the huge cities, which I actually, I think, might have only been Pergamon, to be honest, um, that is not losing population growth, because we don't want the population to go down, ultimately, all the rest of the huge cities were losing population growth. So we're going to keep it on low so it doesn't lose as much population uh, as possible so that we still have all that money coming in. The other thing was to go through all the garrisons. And we have done that. We have gone through all the garrisons, got rid of the useless troops in there. And you can see that we're probably making about 10,000 more per turn. Especially around this area, we had a lot of double... Uh, troops in here from our early civil unrest in this region. But at the moment, it's pretty stable. We don't need all those troops. You can see tiny garrisons everywhere. And that has really brought a little bit of extra cash to us as well. Now, the last thing was to spam as many units as possible, so we're not going over the 200,000 mark. And uh, I've got to say, I think that's what we're doing. The only thing we can do more, maybe, is to spam some more units over here, we're still recruiting and retraining in Pergamon, and we will recruit another army there once both of these armies have been retrained, uh, which will be pretty nice. We're also creating a full cataphract army, so that, of course, is going to be absolutely glorious. Uh, in fact, we're getting a Neocretan archer here. Why are we getting that? I can't quite remember. Maybe for this army because it has no archers? Uh, but I believe it was for this army, and it's not too far away from being done currently, which is great. Uh, I don't believe we have any battles to do. We do have down here in the south with the Ptolemies, but this is no rush. And it's a small battle. Uh, it's only wooden walls, though. Problem is, we don't have a general, and their general and their cavalry could quite easily rout our Thorakitai. Even though they have 16 morale, it's not amazing morale. But it could easily rout them uh, if they wanted to. So we'll probably just wait that one out. We don't need to. This is one of the places where we haven't deleted the garrison. Just because of how bad the public order is down here. We will probably move some of these guys out into Pacorus when we can though. So let's press the end turn. And uh, let's get going. I've also decided guys, I think, you know, a lot of you like the building. But looking at the previous analytics for a lot of the episodes the building sections like the first one of every episode gets a lot of uh, a lot of retention but everywhere else not so much so oh spicy we've got zoilos of pergamon i completely forgot about this army with the hetairoi as well this is the brand new agira speeders army yes i can't wait to use these boys what? Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough, my friend. Um, I think we might be hard enough. I think we might be solid here. I don't know why they've attacked us. I think they've attacked us directly from behind. So this tiny little army is going to come in from the other side. So we'll probably just send our Hetairoi over to deal with that and maybe the elephants. And then the infantry can deal with everyone else. So yeah. Pretty nice battle, I'm not going to lie. Thank you for attacking us there, Antigonids. Easier to take the city. I will see you on the battle map, guys. Hello. Yes, let's go. I am not going to comment on that. But anyway, um... Where are they coming from? Show me your city, sir! Show me your city! Where is it? It looks like it's in the sea. But anyway, um, let's have a look at our Hetairoi boys. And again, 
It doesn't save. For some reason it saves it when they're off, but it doesn't save it when they're on. Ho <laughs> ho yay. Right. Um have a look. Oh yes. These are some spicy meatball. Look at these boys. Woohoo! Yes. The Hetai Roy for the boys. Let's go. Very nice unit. Very good. And in fact, if you haven't seen this video, guys, go and check it out. I've done a video with quality old games where we uh, combined the Hetai Roy versus the old, um, what do you call them? The Cataphracts. And in fact, the Hetai Roy actually won. So, which is kind of crazy to me. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool. And, yeah, the Hetai Roy were actually better than the Cataphracts in a one-on-one -on -one cavalry fight. Um, so, that's quite interesting to me. Let's get them over here. If anyone knows how to ta how to change these guys, I'm not up to date with all the new sort of, uh, what do you call them? Oh, here, here they are. I don't know what they're doing. Time like an elephant time. Get into them, actually. Um, if anyone knows how to... How do I... Like, change which way round that's going. Like, how do I... How do I change the direction of that? But anyway, we were talking about building, weren't we, guys? And, uh, yeah. Building-wise... Building-wise, I'm probably going to just show one set of building now. Rather than, you know building three times in an episode and then you know no one watching the second and third time so yeah i think uh, i think that's the best option and it gives you guys an idea of what i'm what i'm building still but also allows you know uh you guys not to be bogged down by me building so much so much stuff every episode which does genuinely take a while especially when i'm speaking over it if i don't speak over it it can be a bit quicker but yeah, of course I'm going to speak over it. This poor general's bodyguard is getting shredded. So are these boys. And so is the rest of their army, of course. What are you doing, archers? You're firing fire arrows to start with, and you're firing at the wrong... You're firing at your own men, sir. It's not, not ideal. Uh, okay, uh, elephants, just leave these guys to charge us in the back, why don't you? That's what we like to see. All right, well... Uh, Let's get those boys. Go away. God damn it. Get these boys around. Let's go. Uh, archers, you've probably got no one to aim at anymore. Let's get you up. Uh, how did, who did I select then that wasn't supposed to be part of you? Let's get you up around this way. Should be able to fire some javies into the boys. These Agira speeders are some proper, proper units. Who is, who is slightly losing? Oh, that's one general down. These guys, who are they actually fighting? They're only fighting Greek hoplites, so I'm not sure why they're struggling so much. Right, let's go and flank them. I don't care about their cav. Our uh, archers can deal with those. Fire at them. Keep you on guard mode. And we'll keep the high pastis in the back to protect us. You guys get in there. You guys keep coming through. Cavalry. Let's go. You guys. We want you guys in the back there. Big flanking maneuver. If you can get them, that would be ideal, actually. And the high pastis can protect us while we fire at the Hippocontisti. Yeah, they're both Hippocontisti. Oh, hello. Well, let's have, a, let's have Sam. Let's have Sam, shall we? Right, Kev. Time to go. Let's go sort this Agira Speeders out. High pastists. I mean, you guys should be able to fight in there. Should be able to absolutely shred them now. Don't think there's much issue with this at all. Only question over here is just like how well they do against cavalry, really. Um, but we've not really tested that. I don't give a floop about the Hippocontisti. You guys go and fire at them. Let's go after the bodyguard. We'll get you forward. Looks like they're running. Let's go then. Got more running over here. Cool. Yeah, the Agira Speed as Reform Swordsman. They are a real menace. 
A real menace. Are we taking Javis anymore? Uh, I mean, the Ellie's... Like, let's get them away from the Javelins. Just, just, just in case. Kill the general, please. Zuxis. Zoilos. What a man. You have a glorious first battle, my friend. I mean, you do have one of the most OP armies that uh, <laughs> we've ever had in this campaign. So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not much, not much else to say, really, is that? I mean, there's, there's not really anyone, anyone surviving either. Come on, Ellie's, get yourselves lumbered over here, my friends. Everyone, just get in there, just kill them all, kill them all. Don't think there's anything for us to do, really. You guys go and kill them. I don't think we'll need to do much more. I mean, I passed this. You hardly lost anyone. I mean, this guy lost a few men. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's got to be enough. Got to be enough. Very nice indeed. Zoilos, what a man. I mean, very, very OP. These guys, 145 kills, 133 kills. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are. Glorious victory. Karistos is ours. We are taking the island. And we can use this as a bit of a staging post. Oh, hello, Armenia. Welcome to the... Artaxartes the Handsome. Let's have a look at him. Oh, dreamboat. Absolute dreamboat. What a man. Commanding commanding regiments of three archers. Um, Let's have a look at our army then. I mean, it's a pretty darn nice army. Scary with the horse archers, and they do have three generals, but we do have cataphracts, elephants, and chariots. Chariots are pretty good at killing cavalry, so let's try and use them against the cavalry. We do have to be very wary of those horse archers, so hopefully we'll have a defensive position on the left-hand side. They will come in from the right. So let's see. I will see you on the battlefield, guys. A grim day. Are you joking? The gods love seeing brave men die. <laughs> Have you read any Greek mythology, my friend? They love seeing people die, just in general. <laughs> all gods, all gods love seeing people die. I don't think I've ever read... Any mythology where the gods have not enjoyed seeing people die. Um, <laughs> I mean, especially Norse mytholo mythology. I've read quite a bit of Norse mythology, guys. And uh, yeah, it's pretty bloody and pretty brutal. Um, as you would probably expect. I mean, it's not, it's not unexpected, <laughs> is it really? Uh, but yeah. I mean, no more bloody and brutal, I guess, than the Greek gods, though. They... they were very bloody and brutal. Just like the Norse gods, of course. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've... You know, all gods love to see people die is what I'm trying to say. But anyway. Um, trees. Grassy flatlands. Would have been nice if the battle map was slightly further back so we could take this hill. But yeah, we are just going to defend. Of course, we're going to not... Call, we're not going to box too much, but we're going to try and force them to... At least engage my phalangites. Oh my god, they are coming in right here. They were on the right-hand side. I swear. <laughs> um. Well, this is very strange, isn't it? Oh dear, the Agira speeders are getting absolutely shredded. Oh dearie me. Well, times they are a-changing, my friends. Times they are a-changing. Let's get moving. Uh, let's get our cavalry up into this gap. If we can get the those boys there as well, that'd be great. And let's see what we can do about this army. So who was killing them, to, like shredding them? Who is this? I mean, probably all of them. Uh. I'm thinking, well, if we do this, maybe get the Agira Speeders in behind. 
And I get you guys here as well. This is mainly going to rely on the cavalry. Why are some of you so far ahead of the others? We're going to try and sandwich them in here. Where is the rest of these boys? Will you guys get out of that? I could have sworn they were on the right-hand side. And we started on this side here. So it should have been there. I swear, I, I don't know. Maybe oh, maybe I was thinking of the other, the other army that attacked us. So we are going to fully surround these boys as best we can. Hopefully none of them can get through the gaps. Are we all on fire at will? We are. You guys get that now. We're probably killing a few of our own men with this. So let's get out the way. Right. In there. Go, go, go. They've got no real spearmen. So it shouldn't be too much of a worry about the infantry. We should be able to just run straight through them. All this light cav will not be a problem. It's mainly the general's bodyguards, etc. And we need to kill them quick. Otherwise, we are going to get sandwiched ourselves. Ourselves. This is a bit of a sandwich situation, you might say. Um, so let's go after their general over there just to buy us some time. Get into the light spearmen. Kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. Especially these cavalry. It's the worst cavalry. The worst hive of scum and villainy that you could ever see. Come on, Cav. I know you're slow. I know you like being slow. But uh, here goes the uh, here goes the old cataphracts. Let's have a go then. The cat. Uh, sorry, the uh, the chariots. Get them. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them. Quick, quick, quick. And let's go after the general. Oh, we killed him. Good. I don't care about the infantry. Like I say, they're not a concern right now. How are the chariots doing? Right, let's get them out. Let's get them out. Let the jet, let the uh, let the uh, elephants have a little bit of a ding dong, a dingle dongle. Go on, the boys. Let's go. Why are they running? Don't run. That is foolish. Come on, men. I know you're a little bit tired already. <laughs> so tired, so tired. Right, let's get in there. And then I think the Agira Speeders guys. Let's get them all facing this way now and then we'll worry about the rest of the army let's get over here go 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 boys go we got cal cataphracts coming oh no 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 right up there where be the boys right you guys now out we've lost an ellie we've lost an ellie what's the singular ellie no 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 Oh, who are we fighting here? Who are we fighting? Royal bodyguards. Let's get in there then. Come on, elephants. Time to shine, my friends. Out, out, out. Cav, out. Out, damn spot. Right. Archers up there. Agira speeders. Let's go. We'll go, go, go. This army's taking a bit of a battering. We might need to go back to Antioch with them. But we probably will be doing that anyway, just because of the nature of... Oh, come on, elephants. I don't know what you're doing, man. You just stood there. You just stood there. Okay, they use their special attack. That should be quite a nice little uh, little attack there. Let's get into those Albanian cataphracts. You guys fire your javis if you can. Uh, how are the chariots doing? Actually, not that well. So, what have we got here? Light spearmen that are dying. Good. Let's go. Right, men. Time for you to use your powers. What else is in here? Oh, we do have a, one of these boys. Come on. Kill them all. Oh, elephants have gone mad now. Not ideal. Not ideal. Hopefully they don't all die. That's the main problem we're going to have here. Come forward, archers. Let's get you forward as well. And you boys, let's bring you forward. What's this? I mean, throw off three or four, right? Let's get out then. Oof, this has actually been a lot closer than I thought. Who would have thought cataphracts and horse archers would be a, a deadly combination? <laughs> 
Guys, you need to go after them. We can't just fuck around here, you know. Charge in. Charge in. And, uh, who's that? Cataphracts. Come on, get out. Did I say do that? No. You guys get in there. Out. Oh, hello. Get them. Right, infantry. Time to move up. No time to screw around, my friends. No time to screw around. Let's go. Have we killed them yet? Come on. Man, how long is it going to take you, man? Come on, get out of there then. Oh, well. Looks like you're going to have to fight them. Right. Cataphracts and everything. We're a bit screwed right now. Agira Speed is doing quite well. Let's get up there. I mean, we should still win, but it, it has been quite a bloody battle, has it not? Oh, and all the cataphracts are absolutely knackered now. Absolutely knackered. Which is unfortunate. Oh, come on, man. We've got to kill the... Surely we can kill the general here. Surely. Can't wait for our full cataphract army. Although it will be quite slow. That's the one, <laughs> one thing. At least the elephants are taking out some of their men. <laughs> there we go. And that was their king. That was their king. Good. Kill them all. That's what I say. Especially the king. Right. Go chasing after them. Okay. Are they going to have a cheeky little ding dong here as well? They're chasing after my elephants trying to kill them. I mean, that's a very clever thing to do. Right, archers. I mean, your whole job is to kill these Armenian horse archers. Get back. We want to just be at a distance. I mean, one of the armies is routing. Uh, let's just get up there. Come on, archers. Fire at them. The elephant should get a bit of a... A bit of help. Should get a bit of healing, but not too much. Look at them just trying to kill the goddamn guy. No. Right, how many we kill? Hmm. Not ideal. Go, 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 go. Well, uh, I mean, I, it was quite... We didn't really lose any infantry, but then again, do we didn't really use the infantry. <laughs> Quite a messy battle, to be honest, but it, it was fine. Good fun, anyway. Yes, kill them just before they escape. Kill them all! Oh, God, you didn't kill them all. How about these boys? Nope, you're not going to be able to do that. Oh, you did that. Okay, good. Oh, well, this Artux Artes is definitely going to still be alive. I mean, we only... We didn't lose that many... Uh, in reality, where... Oh, the war elephants, there's only three left. Well, we're going to have to retrain. We'll, we'll have to retrain this army anyway. And to be fair, we're not near any enemy settlements, so we should be fine. So I'll, I'll see you on the campaign map. Here we are. And unfortunately, not enough to kill everyone. Not even one of the armies. I thought we'd have at least have killed one there. Maybe I didn't look at the stats quite enough. But they have pretty much no one left now, which is good. Uh, and like I say, there's there's no enemy to our north here. This army very likely will have to go after Atropatine. Uh, I mean, they've got this settlement here. Which you could go for through that way. Uh, but I mean, we've got plenty of armies coming around. Let's get the... Let's get the Caucasian Hillman. Like I say, we're not we're not struggling for money at all. We're, we're, we're in a very good situation when it comes to that. So let's do this. Let's make sure. Let's hope that the elephants didn't die. Come on. Surely they cannot be still. We're not going to take the elephants for this. Uh, attack him, please. There we are. <laughs> and he stood and fought. What a man. Should be dead now. Good. Okay, we lost we lost some units there. Two of the Agira Speeders. Unfortunate. 
how many... Oh, you're actually happy now. So let's come up here. And then we'll send this army. In fact, can we leave the settlement with just the general in there? We can. Perfect. Well, you guys can go back for retraining. Pick up two more units of Agira Speed as reform swordsmen, I guess. Uh, and you guys should all be pretty much retrained. A few more left to go. And then what else needs to be in this army? We've got three units needed. We've only got three cavalry, so we can actually bolster it up with maybe a war elephant. Let's go. Let's just put the units that we know are going to be in here. So a war elephant and then probably a cataphract as well. Get you in there. And to be fair, this army is very close to being done. Minus one and a half percent population growth in Antioch now. Wow. Oh dearie me. Uh, sort those boys out. Greek archers. I mean, there is no missile troop sort of thing in here. So you want this army. We've got a couple of, a few of those boys. Can we not get the Neocretan archers? I swear we were just recruiting. Oh, we can. We just, oh, we can re retrain those. I think it's worth one more Neocretan in there. Uh, and that cataphract army is going to be done pretty soon, which will be glorious. This, uh, this place... Let's have a look. Stick it down to low. 10.5% population growth. Wow. That's kind of obscene. <laughs> We're going to keep the vineyard. We'll keep the academy. Actually want to keep everything. They do have a th level 3 colony Armenian here, which is not ideal. But they're actually very happy. So, you know what? We'll take it. Trying to hear her in there as usual. Very nice indeed. Fantastic. Right, well, that was one good battle. Uh, and then we also took Karistos over here, which is ironically Greek, but a lot less happy. They don't like the Seleucid rule over here. Um, so, yeah. And again, this is going to be a little bit problematic because we don't have Garrison here, but we will have to send one across from over this way. You guys all retrained now that can be retrained? Yes, you are. So, where do we want to go? Probably Mantinea. They actually abandoned one of the sieges there. That's not a problem. Let's get the uh, the ladders. Uh, you guys, how are you looking? Again, no cavalry again. So, a bit annoying we can't get the cavalry to uh, be in there. But that's fine. We'll double siege them here. Double siege. Nice. Uh, and yeah, we got loads of garrison free over this way. And while we are here, let's at least start recruiting a new army. And we'll probably go for Neocretan archers first because they're a bit of a cheaper garrison. Get you in there. You should be happy enough in Githion. Yes, you are. So let's see how much garrison we can spare to send across to uh, Karistos. And we'll send them on the boats. The boaty boats. You get on that boat. Uh, and then they can, you know, sort of garrison the next settlement along as well. Let's see whether we can send both of those. I think we can. Yep, plenty for Messene. Plenty happy enough. Get you guys around here. Let's get these boys in here, and we will send you across that way. Hopefully, there's not a monstrous Antigonid fleet anywhere. I mean, I doubt it, but there might be. <laughs> That's the problem. Uh, right then. So, in Pergamon, do we have a full army? Alketas' army... Is completely and utterly done. Not got many archers. But then we have Ermias's army. Where did Ermias's army? Oh, Ermias. So Ermias's army was coming from beating the Celts. Hmm. So what armies do we have up here now? We've got you. 
Uh, is Al Ketat's Antiochus's army? I think he is. So I think we still need one army up there to get going. So yeah, I think we'll send uh, Al Ketas. Although, yeah, we'll probably send Al Ketas. Minus the elephants, because there's elephants on Hypastis ready for him up here at Kamach. God, look how many turns it's going to take, man. Although we do have um, this guy down here. And Dragoras. Oh, well, I moved you now, Alketas. Uh, oh, this is tough, because you never really know how many more armies you're going to have to have. Well, I'm thinking maybe... If we send Alketas up this way, I know it's going to take him a few turns. But if we send him... Yeah, we'll send him via Kamach. We'll go take out... Mm, that's annoying. Let's just get out of the way. If they want to try and attack us or whatever, I don't know. Can you not get to the side, maybe? Allow them past? <laughs> um, but yeah, Jimnias up there as well. Can you go... Like, how far far is it for you to get here? It's all the way around that way. <laughs> That's not great. Uh, but yeah, we'll send Alketas up that way. We only have one other army up there now. And I'm thinking potentially with Andragoras, one of our glorious commanders, we will probably send him to Ekbatana, where we will initiate the war, the war with Atropatine. They have been a very loyal ally this whole game. Never once attacked us. But unfortunately, Atropatine, your turn has come to die. And I'm assuming they'll probably have quite a few big armies. <laughs> because they've just been sitting there doing nothing. So, very likely that they'll have quite a few big armies. So, we'll get that Neocretan. And then again, we go back, I think, two Neocretans to, to fill this army out. So, what is it? 12. We'll need four Neocretans. That's um, 16. So, then they need another four Cataphracts still. Oh, well. Were we not building recruitment stuff in this region? I mean, we were. Oh, we can get... What's that? The Quinkareems. Cool. Well, let's start building a few more recruitment buildings in there. Just so we can maybe help out with recruitment there. Uh, Pergamon-wise... Get rid of you two. Just for now. Pergamon's pretty upset, honestly. <laughs> and you already have elephants as well. Do you want two elephants in this army? Or do we just save it for the new army that we're going to make? Um, probably save it for the new army. What do we need in here, though? We could get some... It's a very... Phalangite orientated army this. So I mean one Agira Speedes will just be pointless. So let's go for maybe one more cavalry. Let's get a Hetairoi in here. That'd be nice. Uh, in Sardis though, let's start recruiting some more men for a new army. I'm gonna recruit four Hetairoi there to start with. So we're spamming out units. Like I say, we're gonna be spamming out many units. In here, let's get the uh, Agira Speedes. In here, we're getting the Neo Cretans. Good. So, all of you guys have moved. Taxilla, I now believe, has done its recruitment hub. It has, but we need the Greek colony for this. So, it's probably time to, you know, go and try and expand. Oof. Yeah, we need that garrison, don't we? Don't walk there. No. Don't walk there. <laughs> Get back in here. Uh, we need these boys. And hopefully they don't walk past a city this time. Even though they know the city's there. Right. You boys. You keep on coming round. We're going to go for Nagara. Only a few turns until you're ready. That's not too bad. So, yeah. Lots of movement of armies, of course. Who is rioting? Nymphios. I mean, you're fine. Why are you so... Why were you so upset? You're fine, man. Yeah, Antigonids are besieging Ellis. And Kerasus, of course, is still being seized down by the Free Peoples. Oh, well. 
Mazika has expanded. Fantastic. That's great. Kiropolis Caducia has also expanded. Wow. Getting huge cities out in the random areas now. Lots more kids being born. Fantastic. That's what we want to see. It's good having kids born rather than adoptions because the kids will kind of replace their fathers as governors in places that we need them rather than being adopted directly into the capital because a lot of the time uh, they get adopted into the capital. Obviously, it's based on who adopts them, but... If the guy is out on campaign and adopts them, they will go uh, directly to the capital. So, yeah. Right, well, let's do some building. And I will do this one on camera. So, we're also... Another suggestion was to start building some more academies for the generals. And yes, I've been trying to do that. Build academies for these generals in a lot of places. Because you can see, not a huge amount of management for a lot of these boyos. Uh, so, yeah, like Smyrna would be a good one to do. Um, and let's press spacebar so we can see. Like Ephesus, let's get that upgraded. Trelaeus, could probably do with one. Looks like already has it. So, yeah, let's go for that. Let's just go down the list now. Apamea Kibotos, let's go for that one. Iconion, let's go for... Oh, we actually have a governor here. So, yeah, Academy. Elusa, uh, we got that. So, let's go potentially for the Agora. Getting some more money, money, money for the boys. And let's... Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, that's how you say that. Uh, Agora. Arados. Over here we are trying to convert. And we actually have level two. But you're a large city. Can you not... Oh, it's there. <laughs> what am I doing? Um, Sariesa. Let's have a look. Probably, I mean, you already are Greek, actually. Let's just put up that, uh, trying to have Hephaestus in there. Uh, Heropolis, Aqueduct. We don't need to look down south. Maybe apart from in, uh, we don't need that in Acrobite. And we really, just trying to hear her there then. Artakana, let's go for the Militia Barracks. Antiochia Persis. Let's go for the aqueduct. A bit more growth. Kiropolis Caducia. You're upgrading. Nice. Apamea Ragiana. Let's go for the probably secret police HQ for that law. Tagai. Again, got a bit of law. So let's go for the crop rotation. Nidos. Let's go for the public baths in there. Philadelphia. Let's go for the law. Fasalis. Let's go for the Odeon because we don't have it there yet. Salamis. Let's go for trade buildings, ideally, around here. Now, Kratis. We do have a guy there, so let's go Scriptorium. Soloi. Let's go for the Odeon in there. Uh, Tanis. Uh, no education building, so let's go for th that one. Rhodes. Rhodes is just such a good, good city. Let's go for the Merchant's Quarter. It is 12,000, but that's fine. We've got plenty of money now. Like I say, it was a big achievement building in every region. But now, you know, unfortunately, we can't quite build everywhere. But, you know, we're building more targeted buildings, I guess. So it, it's good. Kauris over here, though. Yeah, probably the trade... Or corruption reduction. I mean, do you have any corruption? You still do have a lot of corruption. Only minus four from that. <laughs> that 5% there is an extra extra little bit. How do you have devastation? Where's that devastation come from? You must have rebels in your lands. I mean... Oh, there it is. It's not cleared itself up yet, though, unfortunately. Uh, so, yeah, Kauris, Antiochia, Zabinas, after our late great king. Let's start upgrading you. Let's start getting a bit of extra population growth in some of these regions. Uh, Bactra, Zariaspa, very rich region indeed. Corruption? Yeah, still a lot of corruption, actually. Trying to take 691. Wow. That is what we like to see. Ptolemaeus Theron, let's go. You're halfway on the coast, aren't you? Sazamos, let's 
go for the ship right in Sazamos, and then we've got about 10,000 left. Anisopolis, not really worth doing anything here. Like, it's a bit pointless, just get a bit of happiness. Uh, Sinope, we can actually upgrade Sinope. Right, that's 3,000. Do we have anything we want to do down here? I'm thinking we get a Greek Peltast as a governor. And then we go across into this region. And then if we need to bring back the cavalry for retraining and the, the Chalka Speeders, we can do. This is, this is the original army, guys, that we started the game with all that time ago. How glorious that they are. So far away from anything. <laughs> they have been campaigning far and wide. Plenty of them will have died and been replaced. But it bears the name of our great first leader, Antiochus I. The Legion of Antiochus I. The Lost Legion. I mean, it's not a legion, but the Lost Army of Antiochus I. So let's see what uh, Mr. An uh, Mr. Antigonid wants to do here. He will probably think he's hard enough to take us on. And once again, we will prove him how very wrong he is. How could we not... Goddamn... Oh, we couldn't retrain them there because of those cavalry stables. Well, we're getting the Megas Hippodromos over here, so we'll be able to retrain elephants and all that sort of thing. We're still staying in there, waiting for the ships. We've got so many armies now, guys. It's hard. <laughs> it's really hard to keep track of, but we keep trying. We keep trying. So, yeah, let's end the turn. We're at 50 minutes already. Wow. Well, maybe not 50 minutes for you because of the uh, the loading time uh, between battles, but yeah. Cool. We're coming to have a look across Greece. Yep, I knew it. I knew they would want to come and have a fight. Who would have known? Looks like the Achaean League's actually re reborn. Or did we just not kill them fully? Uh, we, we just must not have killed them fully. Uh, Androcles the Kind with his <laughs> singular command. Oh, this is proper Alketas. We've got weak Alketas over in the east. This is proper Alketas with his ten command. What a boy. Peth Kalaos. He's got some royal Peltas. Very nice. We'll take a look at those, boys. The rest of his army, though. Absolute shit munchers. We are going to eat this army up for fun. Now, let's watch this. Oh, who? Oh, shit. Who attacked? I forgot. But anyway, we'll set up in the middle and we'll see. Here we are. Yeah. Let's not keep me waiting either, my friend. Right. We've got a lot of high pastors in this army. So this is a spearman heavy army. We've got not much cavalry, which does slightly scare me. But for now, I mean, they may be coming in from the left. Let's have a look. Can we see the old settlement? No. So I don't know. They might be coming in directly from there. But this nice little mound is a, is a place where we want to be. There we are. Uh, let's get the archers in behind. Luckily, we're not facing horse archers or anything again. <laughs> and our weak cavalry contingent in the back. Ah, uh, oh, they're coming in directly behind them, actually. That's good. I mean, they attacked us, so we can take the defensive here. So let's get those boys there. Let's get three of you... On the right-hand side, again, we're going to go behind the uh, the Phalangites. So it forces them to try and attack the Phalangites because we know how little they like to do that. Uh, group you guys together. Same with you. And then we'll group those three going that way together. These two here. And then the archers can be a law unto themselves, of course. Do what they want. Yeah, this is quite a good little spot to fire down on them. Let's have a look. Greek hoplites. What have they got? Oh. The units do look so good in this game, don't they, boys? They look fantastic. Look at those boys. There they are. Let's have a look for the Royal Peltas. Okay, they're ones that haven't been remastered yet, of course. Same with you. 
There's some more Greek helplights. General. Here comes the second general. Second breakfast. Where be the royal guards? Where are the royal guards? Maybe they're hiding. I don't know. Genuinely, where are they? <laughs> I haven't seen them yet. They're a beautiful unit. If we see them. Could have sworn they were coming in with these boys. Oh, there they are. How did I not see them before? Here they are, sprinting along. What a glorious unit. Oh, here we go. Battle is starting. You want to come and have a go if you think you're hard enough, mate? Don't even need to put the phalangites down yet. Now we go. Synchronized, boys. Let's go. And here they come. They're just standing there, giving them shit. Come on, boys. <laughs> um, well, let's not stand for this shit. Charge. <laughs> Phalangite charge. Halt for a second. You guys go forward now. Now you can engage them. There we are. There we go. He's already running. You're kidding. He really is too kind for warfare. We don't even need to get the high pastus in there at the minute. That well, that makes our life m quite a bit easier. High pastus, get on your bike. And uh, these high pastists, we've got all three. Let's go. I can't see. <laughs> Me in a tree. There we go. Right, high pastists, it's time to engage. They're already running, man. Come on, uh, and Tiganids, I wanted some tough battles. Is this all you can. Is this all you have? Are you not entertained? Is this literally all you can muster, my friends? Oh, dearie me. I feel like Denethor. Is this all you can muster? Saruman! Or Sauron, or whatever. Oh, no, it's not Denethor, is it? Goddamn. Thingy, what's he called? Um, how can I forget this? Oh, well. Call myself... Uh, a Lord of the Rings stand. And my mind has gone blank. Uh, AO, AO guy. <laughs> Mine's gone completely blank. What? Are, what is going on, man? But how many uh, generals did they have have here? The enemy general is running away. He's running away. Oh dearie me! Don't care. And then we've got another general here, Xenocratis, who we're going to have a bit of fun with. Uh, I mean, you guys, one of you might as well go there. I mean, you might as well not go there now. Go there. Uh, let's get out. Should have killed him. Good, we did. We did the killing. We did the killing. Now this is their royal Peltas. Let's give him a cheeky charge. Proper Alketa, so we don't want him to die. Yeah, broken already. Broken already. God, you bring shame upon the name of all Greeks, my friends. Real shame. Genuine shame. Deary me. Deary me. What weaklings. What weaklings you are. Get going. Uh, we might as well send you out to go and have a bit of fan. Kill them all. Should be able to kill them pretty easily here. Distraught. Good. Come on. They've got a break. There we are. Kill them as well. I don't know. Who's still alive? Okay. One guy. There we are. Archers. I mean, you can try and chase them down. Probably not going to do a great job. Oh, they've come back. Oh, that's cute. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that wasn't the greatest charge, though, was it? Really wasn't. <laughs> Get into them. They're, safe. They're stopping our, our great 
chargey time. Come on. Come on, man. Stop. Stop this. Stop coming back. The Peloponnesian Hoplites are actually a pretty... Pretty damn good unit. Oh, we're just not going to catch these boys. Uh, okay. Well, let's try and get as many as we can. Uh, yeah, archers, you might as well charge after these boys because you're actually going to catch them. These guys, unfortunately, are all going to escape. So, very unfortunate. Might as well. Uh, don't do that. Actually attack them. <laughs> Maybe. These poor guys. Good, 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 good. Not anything else we can do, is there? Oh, there they are. Get him. Get him. <laughs> Come on. Look the poor guys running. Everyone's chasing them. Go on. <laughs> Glorious. Oh. Honestly, Antigonids. You should be embarrassed, my friends. <laughs> what? What is this? What is this? Oh, Androcles the kind. You were too kind for warfare, my friend, with that sort of showing. But anyway, let's. I'll see you back on the uh, the campaign map, guys. Glorious victory, of course. Ah, there's the Antigonid fleet having a little little blockade. Okay, well, Armenia. More horse archers. Do you have to do this? Oh, but this is the uh, the mercenary army. I don't think this will be too bad. The horse archers are a bit of an issue, especially seen as we don't... We've got our own horse archers, so actually we should be fine. Their general's going to be a bit bad. But Aesis, deep in enemy territory. Let's finish the episode off with a cheeky little battle. Here we are. We can just defend, uh, but we don't have too much to defend with, to be honest. Um, yeah. I mean, like, cavalry-wise, cavalry-wise, we're okay. Infantry-wise, this army is, is an absolute disaster. Look at them. Mainly just hillmen, which are terrible. <laughs> you get behind. Uh, let's group all you boys together. You're the most important. Oh, look, a little, um, little caravan. Oh, that's cute. I've never seen these before. Interesting. That's our supply chain. <laughs> supply chain? Supply train, should I say? Uh, and then we have our missile cav. Let's get you there. You're more important. And uh, let's see what they do. I mean, I have no infantry, so it's all going to rely on the cavalry here. We do have a very nice cavalry contingent, even if they are a little bit damaged. Now, what are you? You are Armenian horse archers. Well, let's go and have a bit of a, a ding-dong, shall we? A good old ding-dong. Nice. And uh, let's go and see what we can do. Should be taking them out quite easily. Especially the Javis. The Javis should take them out very easily indeed. Don't know what they're doing going over there. And they don't have any more horse archers. So they just have their cavalry bodyguards. Which I don't think will be a problem for us at all. Where are these guys? I swear I told you to do that. Keep coming. Keep coming, men. Most important thing is taking out these horse archers if we do anything else. So we are losing a few of our own horse archers, but that's fine. Get them. Come on, men. I know you can do it. They're not liking it. But uh, you've got to just keep chasing them. Come on. So I don't know what this is. I don't know where they're going. But whatever. Like they could probably just charge right through the middle of us. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we wouldn't be able to do anything about it. They are fully running away now. Fully running away. I'm going to get you off fire at will and tell you to fire at them so you keep following them. 
Come on, men. Let's go. Oh, these Javis, these should do the trick. Come on. Unfortunately, there's only 17 of them, so they don't really do anything. Again, take your fire at will and tell you to keep following them. Come on, Brian. Go, go, go. Keep firing. Doesn't matter that they're so far away from the army. And now they're coming over this way. I don't know why. All right, let's go then. I don't care about their infantry, really. So let's go. Let's have a bit of let's have a bit of fun. Let's try and intercept them if we can. Should be able to surround him. They're going to get a good charge off here. That's the only problem we have. So, but we need to do the same. We'll get you guys go there, and we'll now surround them. This is Cav versus Cav battling. Cataphract versus Cataphract. The Armenian Royal Bodyguards are a scary, scary unit, to be fair. So, good job, whatever we're doing. Oh, come on, these guys have got to break soon, surely. Once we've killed both of these units, we should be fine. Look at them taking the long way round. Oh, yes, we've got them routing. Yes. Poor Armenia. What is this? Okay, goodbye. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at this then. Here we go. Here we go for the boys. Come on. Run them down, my friends. Run them down. I mean, that wasn't the greatest charge, but it was enough to make them rout, so. <laughs> what have we got? Straight into the Asian Light Spearman. Just chain them through. Chain them through. Shaken already. They should be. They should want to rout because the cataphracts scare nearby enemy infantry. So they should be. Yeah, they should want to rout. Let's, ra let's rally our men. Okay, I don't mean to do that. Come on, ah, we can't leave them in an extended fight. Guys, come on! Oh, they ran away. They ran away. Whatever. Everyone just go and kill them. <laughs> Cavalry can deal with these boys. Let's get a nice, good, thick line going. Our men are slightly tired now. This should be it. Now they've all set up for the charge. It should be a proper charge. And it's coming from all directions as well. Or should be. Probably less so if they do something like that. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Good. Kill them all. They only got one man of them left. Here we go. Fire Javi's men. These poor hillmen are getting shredded. Oh, dearie me. You guys all get round the side to fire Javi's. And uh, let's do this. Uh, where are you, Cav? That's you, Cav. Don't need you. Okay. Well, that was, that was embarrassing again. I feel like the last battle was very much the battle for the Peloponnese. You know, we uh, had to do everything we could to try and win it, to try and take the Peloponnese. You guys are not tired, so go after them. Uh, where's this Hillman? Where's the Hillman? Because you should be fast. Go, go, go. You Hillman. Go, go, go. And then the rest of you boys get you uh, over here. So, yeah, I feel like the last battle was a battle for the Peloponnese. And this one is very much, you know, sort of the last gasp of Armenia, really. They're, they've not got much left, have they? We are just a, a shreddy, shreddy boy right now. Shreddy, shreddy boy. But it's good. It's good. I'm enjoying it. Again, they did quite well, actually, this time. Better than they have previously. A single man survived from uh, Captain Artani's army. <laughs> uh, just telling the news to everyone. But let's see you on the campaign map. Glorious victory. And Gornai is now ours. Good. I mean, Anatoly is pretty much mopped up now, isn't it, boys? There's one little Crappadocian settlement and another little Armenian settlement. And then up to the Caucasus and we should be fine. Like I say, we're probably going to make these two little areas into recruitment buildings slash hubs where are you going um so yeah let's have a look so we got that one and this one 
And up here, we've got like a couple along the coast and at the top. So, yeah, not much left for Armenia, but that's good. Uh, and yeah, Crappadocia have got their single settlement here. We were going to send you back to deal with it, weren't we? Auto sort you. Yes, seems a good, uh, good enough army. I mean, I don't see why not. We might as well on the way. I feel like that's their last... La I mean, it must be their last settlement, surely. Yeah, it is their capital. So let's go after that. Oh, hello. Are you... Do you actually border this region? You actually do. So you could siege us down. I don't know why you do that, but you could. Right, there, you, of course, are going towards uh, Kamach. Pick up those Ellies and the High Pastists. Um, and yeah, hopefully deal with those as rebels. <laughs> uh, you, are you fully retrained now? Not quite. Let's get you all retrained. For uh, Mayas. Uh, Mayas hasn't got many things to his name, has he, unfortunately? And uh, let's start popping in some Agira Speeders again. Uh, and we're getting Hetiroid there. Glorious, another army on the way. Over here, we've got these two things which we can do whenever we want. So let's do that. Got you there. You there. Let's make sure we are building up these regions into recruitment hubs. So, like, that could do with a Megas Hippodromos. But everything else is pretty darn good. I don't think we need much more than that. And this will be a nice little recruitment hub for our invasion of Greece because quite a few armies we're going to face, as you can see, guys. Uh, boats. Let's get you off there. Come on. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it, game. Come on. You can't, in fact, get in there yet. <laughs> oh, well. I mean, I can take a turn of rioting. 20%. Not too bad, you know. I mean, the only thing is, if they go and take it... Oh, come on. Any of you got more movement points? No, obviously. Now, who... Uh, this is owned by the Antigonids. So, where is the settlement? And then, we can use this to kind of get into to, to the rest of Greece if we want. Oh, hello, big army. Now, that's a good one to fight. So, let's get in there. And very likely, they're going to come and attack us. But again, I don't think it will be an issue at all. So, yeah, that'll be good. It would be funny if they went... Oh, they can't actually reach there. I was going to say, it would be funny if they went over there. You can actually get across here. I didn't know that. Or is it there? No. It must be here. I didn't know you could get across. I thought it was fully islanded, uh, that area. Uh, right. So, we've got this army down here still. Ah, one thing we forgot about. One thing I did forget about. Is getting the army down there. So, let's get them down there. And also, the Thorakitai up here. There we are. And we should be able to recruit actually one more unit, which will be good. So let's recruit. I mean, the only unit that's of use here is the Neocretans. So let's get them. Over this way, you're still going for Taxilla. Got a plague over there. Oh, dearie me. Dearie, dearie me. Do, do, do. Yeah, so you are getting those guys next time. Should have this army very soon. Three more turns and they'll be there. So get round. Uh, then over in here, they have left. So let's get into Antioch. And we should still be recruiting more. I mean, we're recruiting Neocretans. I'll take four of them. And then we... Then we need four more cataphracts. It's still eight turns. Come on. Until this is done. Slightly annoying. But oh well. I mean, we've got this army pretty nice indeed, haven't we? You're going up to here. Good to govern it. 
And then we've got the other army there. It's a bit unfortunate that it takes you multiple turns to get back here, even with the paved roads without a general. Hopefully only one more turn. That should be fine. You guys there. You guys got your last bit of retraining to do, and then you're ready to go into Greece. Now, where we're going to send you in Greece, I do not know, but probably to back up these armies on the Peloponnese, to be honest. Like I say, we want to go from south to north uh, and just go methodically and take it out. You know, one faction at a time. Obviously, Antigonids is a longer term one because they're bigger, but all these smaller factions, we can kind of take them out one at a time. So what have we got? Yeah, Karasu's still under siege. Five turns to go, though. It's fine. Articana, let's put that in. Uh, same with Kiros. Get you in there. And then Seleucia Kalikadnos. You in there as well. And yeah, we just destroyed everyone's army. And so many more kids are coming of age. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Fantastic. Uh, and then, yeah, lots of building being done. But I will do that off camera, like I say, guys. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. I believe we've moved everyone now, hopefully. Um, keep your suggestions coming. And uh, yeah, this uh, this campaign's going to go on for a little bit longer. Not a huge amount longer. But a little bit nonetheless. So what is these? Temple of Heracles and Hermes. What? Where are those, those extra temples down there? The hell? I don't know. <laughs> They're just like down in the bottom. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway. But yeah, we're going to keep this going until the release, of course, of 0 0.6. Where we will have another campaign, guys. Um, so that will be a normal campaign. It will not be a story campaign. Um, and there are reasons for that. And I will let you know those reasons in good time when I'm allowed to tell you. Of course. So. <laughs> uh, but thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.